Uh, good morning, rail fans. Joe here with Black Rock Central Railroad again with another mail call. This one here is from our friends at Caboose Stop Hobbies. I know quite a bit of the stuff that's in here. Uh, although some of the stuff is, I was told by Ian not too long ago when I went ahead and called this all in to send it. Uh, it turns out that some of this stuff is from back in January. So, let us open up the box here and see what's in it. Hopefully not a ton of peanuts. Well, we got some peanuts anyway. Yes, that's my crazy dog upstairs barking already. No, it's actually not that bad as far as peanuts go. But I think we'll dig through them anyway and go from there. Okay, yeah, this is from back in January. We have some... Uh, Forest in a bag. Trees. Always need trees. Get ready to place an order with Bob and uh, see what else we can get as far as more trees go. And then we have a couple boxes of Walthers. get a receipt. Okay, that's what all's here. So, let's see what we got here. Showed you the trees already. Got a couple of uh, freight cars here. And, uh, Nice southern that needs some wheels. Open hopper. This Penn Central hopper here was bought for for parts. Strange as it might seem. I have another hopper over there that I haven't decorated yet because it's an undecorated one. But it doesn't have any of the uh, hatches on it. All the hatches were missing in the kit. So we get a cheapy and we get some hatches. And we have another uh, 53 double door or uh, yeah, double door box car that we can decorate for ourselves. So that'll be a Black Rock Central unit. And what do we have in here? With the old blue box uh, descriptions, you can't always count on them being what's in the box. Okay, another undecorated 54 or 50 foot box car. That'll be uh, another one for the Black Rock Central Railroad. An old uh, life light kit, just a couple of uh, shacks and a bus stop, just to add a little bit of interest in some of the scenery areas of the railroad. And this one's a lot smaller than I thought it was. This is only a 
a 40 foot box car. Actually, it's not even a box car. This is a reefer. Ice box reefer. So we may have to uh, decorate that one and send this one down to uh, Jason, the train freak. He might like that one. He likes some 1940s and the ice box reefers. So we might have to send one down to him. It's a very lightweight box here. So we're not sure what all's in here. Okay, and here we go again, another another unit that was bought for uh, parts. It's nice when you can find cheap kits, and all you need are some of the parts. RS3 that I happen to need handrails for. I broke a couple of handrails on mine when, uh, when I was building it and getting it all painted up. So that's what that'll be for. Another parts unit. And this one here is supposed to be a standard 50, 50 foot flat car. Which, yes, we are. 50 foot flat car. And uh, in this particular case, I have. Two more tractor trailers were actually just the semi parts of them that uh, I needed a flat car for that uh, Uncle Roy had sent me, Container Man 68, so I can put my other two, uh, I believe they're GMC Generals, put on that flat car, and then I'll have all my cars everywhere or all my uh, trucks displayed somewhere. And this was a little cheapy. Small crane, throw that together, use that somewhere over in the, uh, possibly over in the cement plant. Always use a little crane. Small industrial type. And what else do we have here? This is a flat car kit of some kind, but I don't even think this is HO. I've never seen a flat car that small. But, no trucks, no couplers, just some wood left over to put on the deck. Eh, we'll do something with that. And then, I think these were, if I'm not mistaken, these should be two bay covered hoppers. Yep, cement hoppers, undecorated, both the same. And I do need a couple more cement hoppers. So we got two of them. So that concludes our mail call. <coughs> thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. And I keep forgetting to say, uh, thanks for all my subscribers. I believe we're approaching 380 right now. I've picked up probably about 20 of them in the last uh, two months. So I appreciate all the new guys and, and girls that are in there. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Joe from the Black Rock Central Railroad with another mail call. And we'll be back later on. Thank you much for watching. Bye for now.